वेलकम बैक सो दिस इज द लास्ट वीडियो इन आर पोर्टफोलियो ट्यूटोरियल हाउ आर यू फीलिंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू आई वॉन्ट टू नो हाउ यू फीलिंग रियली बिकॉज वी हैव वर्क सो हार्ड ओवर द पास्ट ट्वेंटी वीडियोज वी हैव बिल्ड अ लॉट ऑफ कॉम्पोनेंट्स वी हैव लर्न सो मैनी थिंग्स वी हैव बिल्ड सो मैनी पेजेस आई एम सुपर प्राउड दैट यू बिल्ड एवरीथिंग ऑन योर ओन एंड दिस इज समथिंग सुपर कूल so i really want to know how are you feeling let me know please 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 put it uh, in the chat section or the comment section or whatever you see uh, just put it up and i would love to put it on the linkedin and uh, just tag me i would love to hear your views on how are you feeling after building this website i would really really love to see your reaction and uh, what are you feeling of of building this particular website on your own completely from scratch so in this video this is the final video we are going to do two things we are going to make our connect with me form functional and we are also going to deploy our react application so for the de deploying our react application you can easily see the steps you can go to this website medium.com/theleanprogrammer and search for this or you can search for on google as well how to deploy your react uh, app on github pages in 2 minutes so if you type this particular thing uh, you can easily see that uh, <clears throat> you can easily find out my medium article okay so the first step is basically to add the gh pages package so this is going to take some time generally this takes 1 to 2 minutes to install so that's why i am going to start installing this and then go back to forms pre and then come back to this so i hope you understand just copy and paste this or rather let's type it npm install gh pages dash dash save so i'm going to stop my development server which is running here let's just stop it and here i'm going to paste this npm install gh hyphen pages and i'm going to save it as a dev dependency so using this hyphen hyphen save dev we can save it as a dev dependency perfect so by the time it is installing this let's go back and start integrating our forms pre so how do we integrate our forms pre very very simple basically you need to go to this website called formspre.io it's very simple formspre.io and there are a lot of alternatives to it as well if you want to go ahead with any other alternative it's completely your choice so it it's it's very simple to integrate and it does the work for us perfect so what i'm going to do is i'm going to sign in so since i already have an account you don't need to sign in you would need to sign up so i have signed in on my formspre so first of all you would have to create a project so inside the project you you can name it anyways any name that you want and then you can go to create form so inside the form you would have to select that project so i have already created a test project so while you go to create project you can easily easily create a new project put a name here or if you want i can do that for you as well i'm going to name it as a project perfect so i have already created a project uh with the name project so you can name it anyways you are you are understanding it right so the name can be anything and now let's go to a form and let's add it that form to a project i'm going to name this form as portfolio and then i'm going to create the form so as soon as i create a form that's it everything is done so all i need to do is copy and paste this action copy and paste this action and method that's the first step let me tell you so let's go inside so this is already done so let's restart our development server npm start uh that should be good enough once we do that perfect so let's go to our contact page where did our contact page go contact.jsx so inside our form you see there's only a class name so let's add an action and a post method as well that's it so this 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 secret key would be different for you it's this for me it would be completely different for you perfect so that was the first step now the second step is we would want to name this particular field uh, as a custom name so the name which they provide us so the name of the input for email is reply to let's copy and paste this here and the name of the text area is going to be message which is already present so this name is already present and nothing else you are done that's it really don't be surprised that's it trust me guys that was it that's as simple as that <laughs> you to integrate an email application to your contact page you just have to do this much with the forms pre so there are a lot of three third party uh, libraries and uh, these services which makes our life very easy if they were not present we would have to have a custom php script or something like that to integrate 
to our page. So now let's test it out. I'm going to send an email to myself, the lean programmer at the rate gmail.com. So this is the sender. So this is your email ID. Let's say my email ID is again the lean programmer.com. So let's use my official email ID, which is info at the rate the lean programmer.com. And the message can be hello world. Perfect. And then send an email. So as soon as you send an email, it will trigger a post request to this action. Perfect. And the form was submitted successfully. But to activate the form, you would have to go to your email ID first and then press on activate. It would not activate unless and until you do. You Unless and until you activate, it will not, you will not start receiving the emails. So just go to your email ID and start activating. I'm not going to open my email ID right now here because I believe that's, a, that's such a simple step that you can do it on your own as well. You just have to go to your email ID, the email ID from which you signed up on Formspree and then activate your account. After you activate your account, you will start getting messages. That's it. Now let's come back to deploying our application. So the second step is to update our package.json file. Let's go, let's close this and let's go to our package.json file. So inside the package.json file, first of all, we need to add a home page. So home page would be like this. Let's copy and paste uh, this particular home page. So for you, it's going to look something like this. Uh, it's going to look like user your username so my username here is the lean programmer so again the first step of course is to add uh, push your changes to github but i think it's completely completely obvious that uh, uh, you have to create a github account and you have to push your changes to github as well but in case just in case that you don't know how to create a github account or you don't know how to create a github repository uh, you can see this video basically let me show it to you so this is the video here um, again uh, thanks a lot for 1000 plus views on this video i am super grateful for this so this is the second video uh, this is the 10th video in my first uh, project so you can see this particular video which is um, how to deploy your app to github pages here i have went from scratch i have told you everything uh, on how can you deploy your app to github pages so you can just go to this particular uh, video and start learning that but again the thing is very easy you just need to create a github account you just need to create a new repository and then your username would be something like this the lean programmer and then your repository name would be this and you just need to push your changes to github in case you don't know how to push your changes to github you can already sh you can see the video which i shown you perfect so for you it would be something like this let me show you it would be something like let's change it to like this it would be like this https the lean programmer dot github dot io slash portfolio so this would be your website the the name of course would be your username here but i have included i have a custom domain setup so i am going to use http slash the lean programmer dot com slash portfolio so this will not work for you because you have not set up the custom url uh, but you if you want you can do that as well perfect so after you do that the only thing remaining is to add these two pre-deploy and deploy scripts just go back and go back to your scripts section and add a deploy and a pre-deploy script that's it that's that's it trust me guys that's it you just have to now uh, commit your commit and push your changes uh, so let me tell you how to do that uh, let's go inside this let me open a separate terminal and what i'm going to do is i'm going to add my changes git add dot i'm going to git commit dash m uh, deploy the application and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to push this as well git push your changes would be reflected on the github page that you have mentioned perfect so after that the only thing left to do is npm run deploy this deploy script npm run deploy and after that once it's done you will be able to successfully deploy and the website you have mentioned here you will be able to see your portfolio here this was as simple as that again it takes around four or five minutes to reflect so i'm not going to wait for four or five minutes i 
I know 100% that's going to work. If it did not work for you, let me know in the comments. Let me uh, ask me in the Q&A section and so on. So yes, uh, that's it. That's completely it. We have built our portfolio website and we are done with this. And let me show you how our portfolio website looks like. So this is how your portfolio website is going to look like madhavbahel.tech slash portfolio. And this is going to have a lot of these things. And you already know we have built it. So the whole journey to building this website from scratch was super exciting. I had a lot of fun, trust me guys. And I hope you guys also had a lot of fun. But again, just a very, very humble request. Trust me guys. So this was around a three or 3.5 hours tutorial, but to build this 3.5 hour tutorial, I spent weeks, literally I spent weeks. So the only support that I am asking for you from you is do share this course with your friends, do share it on LinkedIn, do share it on Twitter, do share it on Facebook, do share it on Instagram as well so that it can reach more and more people so that I can feel happy that yes, I did a lot of efforts and it's helping a lot of people. So that's the only support I'm asking out of you. Perfect. So that's it. And just before ending this video again, if you haven't already do contribute to buymeacoffee.com slash lean programmer so that I can use that amount to scale up my free initiatives and start taking more and more initiatives that was it i had a lot of fun in building this project along with you guys it was a lot of fun let me know if you have any feedback for me let me know uh, if i can improve in any way let me know if i would have added any other section it would have been helpful for you again so till now we have covered a lot of things in our react mega tutorial series in the next project i am actually planning to cover the react hooks but an, a very, very important announcement here. So as you know, guy, uh, guys, from past five months, we have, been, we have been publishing projects continuously. So I am taking a break of one month here because breaks are important too. And I need to have some spare time for myself as well. So since I've been uh, creating video tutorials from past five months continuously. So the next video tutorial is going to come in July end. So that's it. That's it. Uh, I had a lot of fun in building this project and this is a very emotional pro uh, moment for me because because you already know this was a very huge project to build and we built it together so I'm super happy and I would love to know how you are feeling let me know post it about post about it on social media post about it on Instagram LinkedIn Twitter and so on and don't forget to tag me so yes that was it I had a lot of fun bye bye guys don't forget to stay tuned to my tutorials. I will keep publishing more tutorials. Bye bye. See you soon.